Today we start with a container store. This and Target are my happy places. Basic, yes, but they have everything I didn't know I needed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I make my beading tray. They are called accessory trays and you do have to buy the tray and the lid separate, but it's totally worth it. For the large tray set, it is approximately $41 before tax and for the medium, it is $23 before tax. In this video, I am going to be working with the large tray. For my beading mat, I bought mine at the Native American Trading Post in West Valley City, Utah, and they were pre-cut. This type of material can be found at your local craft store under the fabric department. The best way I can describe it is a velvet cushion material. For the length of the large tray, it will need to be cut to 13 and 3 eighths in inches. For the width of the large tray, I originally measured it out to nine and a half inches, but I did have to change that to nine and seven sixteenths in inches. You can use scissors to cut them out, but I do find that the rotary cutters are a lot easier and more accurate to cut. I used Mod Podge as the adhesive and a brush to paint it on. I made the mistake of using E6000 for one of my previous trays and that was lumpy as heck. Make sure to get all edges and corners. When placing the beading mat down, make sure to press it into the Mod Podge and not smoothing it out by rolling it over with your hands. This material has some stretch to it. Here is my shelf. So this is the full shelf and I just keep my stuff that I'm working on right now. Um, this is from the one of the Nutcracker earrings I just completed. I, want to f I like the colors a lot so I'm just leaving this here to work on it later. But this tray was just bare and I added this on. Here are some smaller trays. Um, with these, you can see the difference on that. It really depends on their availability at the container store because I wanted to get more pink ones and more blue, but or more tur turquoise, but they didn't have it, so I just had to settle with white. But here I have my adventure earrings. Um, since that's like a consistent thing I work on, this is probably gonna be the main tray for it. Um, here I have a bunch of stuff in here. This is like stuff that's like lost in limbo. So um, I really need to go through that, but just like, yeah, just keep that tucked away. And I don't only bead. So here are some other stuff like my hair clips. I need to work on that soon. That's probably what I'm going to be working on next. So yeah, it works really great. I know it's um, kind of pricey to buy them separate, but totally worth it.